Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Apostle Griffin, Chief Apostle of the Restoration Church, PMI, along with my wife, Elder Kadisha, who is the pastor. We are here to talk with you about why we keep the Sabbath. We have a few scriptures here we want to read to you, and they will be read by Pastor Griffin in your hearing. Okay. Leviticus chapter 23 is our first scripture, and we will be reading from verse 1 to verse 3. To verse three. So get your Bibles, okay? Leviticus 1, I'm sorry, Leviticus 23, verse 1, and it reads, and the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Even these are my feast. Verse 3. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath. Rest, a holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. Did you want to expound on that? It basically, you know, self-explanatory, telling us that the Sabbath is a day of rest. It's telling us that it is a holy convocation. It is reminding us that we are to do no work therein. It is a Sabbath day, a day of rest in all your dwellings. Now we have our next scripture. Exodus. Exodus. 20. 20. Verse 8 to 11. Verse 8 to 11. Mm -hmm. And it reads, starting at the 8th verse, Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days shalt thy labor and do thy work. But on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, thy daughter, thy manservant, thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within the gates. Verse 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. And all that is in, and all that therein, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Now, here we have where the Lord is telling us that we've had six days to do all of our work, to do the things that we normally do in life. And he's asking for 24 hours. The Sabbath begins sundown and ends sundown. So from Friday night, that sundown, until Saturday, that sundown is the Sabbath day. There is to be no work. Yes. There is to be nothing that we do normally. Mm -hmm. God has asked for 24 hours to do what he wants done. Yes. Is a day strictly dedicated to him and his works mm -hmm. and everyday things that he's done in our life. Mm -hmm. So, Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter. Amen. First of my first. And the Bible reads, ver uh, starting at the first verse. Now these are the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which the Lord our God commanded to teach you, that ye may do them in the land whether ye, put, whether ye go and possess it. Verse 2, that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and all his commandments which I command thee, thou and thy son, thou son's son, and all the days of thy life. That, they, that those days may be prolonged. Verse 3. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, 
and that ye may increase mightily. Here's the blessing. The Lord God of thy fathers have promised thee in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, your God, is one God, is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all their might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Amen. 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Thou shalt talk to them while they sit down in the house and when they walketh by the way and when thou liest down and when thou rousest up. Verse 8. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand and thou shalt be frontless between thy eyes. Verse 9. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gates. So it's a reminder that the commandments of God this is something that we have to live by. Yes. Everything that God has told us to do has always been a command. Yes. So one of his commands was to keep the Sabbath and keep it holy. Mm -hmm. Six days we've labored, six days we've done all our work, six days we have done what we wanted to do. Yes. And he has asked for just 24 hours. So we all have to realize that this is a command. Deuteronomy is telling us that we have to obey every command that he has given us in order for our life to be prolonged. Yes, yes. If we plan on living for a long time, then we have to do the will of God. Amen. Obey his law, his statutes, and his judgments. Okay. So this brings us to our subject. We have been reading it through the whole video. But what is a Sabbath keeper? We get a lot of questions, especially on Facebook, about what is a Sabbath keeper? Are we Jewish? Is this a cult or anything like that? No, it is a commandment in the Word of God. And that's why we started out with Scripture talking about what is the Sabbath. And notice who commanded it. It wasn't Moses. It was the Lord thy God. So I have a couple of points that I want to bring up and then we're going to finish this up. Um, first point, we observe the Holy Sabbath, which is on Saturday. Well, actually it starts sundown on Friday and it ends sundown on Saturday. It is not Sunday that we celebrate God's Holy Sabbath, but it is Saturday. Okay. Point two, we observe all the feasts according to Leviticus 23 and 4. We still honor them. We still have services on those Sundays, on those days of feast. And we go by according to what that particular feast day is. Point three, we follow the dietary laws of refraining from eating from pork shrimp, shellfish, and etc. according to the scriptures in Leviticus 11. We also wanted to point out in our fourth point that Jesus observed every feast day and he observed the Sabbath. So us as Christians, if we be Christ-like, we have to observe the Sabbath and the feast days. Point five, yes, we believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in the Holy Ghost, according to Acts. Okay? But we still keep the law. Yes, we're under grace. But without law, there is no grace. And without grace, there is no law. It's a balanced thing. Okay? Another point we have is that the Lord commanded us to observe the feast days and the Sabbath, which we, just, which we just proved in the scriptures according to the 23rd chapter of Leviticus. The Sabbath day is a holy day, the seventh day of the week. 
This means you're not supposed to work. You should not have a job on the Sabbath. You should not be in school during the Sabbath. And everyone that is in your household, even if you have servants or according to the scripture, you have servants, maid servants, if they're in your home, even a stranger therein has to observe the Sabbath. In, as long as they're in your household, they must observe the Sabbath. And that's what we read in Leviticus. We are law keepers. The law of God is a lifestyle. It's not something that we just do to become super religious or uh, to be deep. But we are law keepers. Okay? It's our life. It's what God has commanded us to be. And yes, again, we're under grace. But we still keep the law. And like we read, there is a blessing in keeping the Sabbath. Did you want to read Isaiah 58? Yes. Okay. Verse 13. Starting at verse uh, Isaiah 58, starting at verse 13 to the 14th. And here it reads. If thy turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing the pleasures on my holy day, and call the, the Sabbath a delight, the Holy Lord, the Holy Lord honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasures, nor speak thy own words. Then shalt delight himself in the Lord, and he will cause thee to ride upon high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage. Hear that. The heritage of Jacob, thy father, 